Too bad. Yeah. Oh, f watch out. It's the moment the, I didn't see it coming. He didn't either. And I really didn't expect him to run him over and keep him pinned under the car. <laughs> um, but let's get into the facts of the story. A vandal who is seen launching rocks at cars and homes in Rock River Moline in my great, wonderful state of Illinois was blindsided by a bystander in a golf cart. And it turns out the man in the golf cart is the man who owns the home that was being vandalized. Let's watch that moment again, because I can't get enough of it. According to the witnesses, the perpetrator was going on an extended rampage. He was identified as 31 year old Oliver Vanderlinden, and he was arrested on the scene. This is his mugshot. Now, the video comes from a group of International Brotherhood of Electricians members who said the incident started at the Union Hall. According to Jeremy, who is seen in the video, the man appeared at the IBEW Union building, knocking over a motorcycle trying to tear a door off a car and throwing rocks at the vehicles. Now, the vehicle unfortunately is facing $4,500 in repairs from the rampage. You can see here totally, absolutely destroyed the windshield. Um, but he also did damage to other homes as well. We have a picture here of a sliding glass door that was destroyed and those are not cheap to repair. If anyone is a homeowner and has ever had to purchase a sliding glass door, they're expensive. Um, 97x.com though reports that the golf cart driver and owner of the home being damaged hits the man and runs him over, as you saw in the video, pinning him underneath the cart. Police arrived on scene first and had to wait for the fire department to arrive to safely remove the golf cart. From on top, the man. Now, Miranda, there he wasn't injured. I mean, he's fine. He he wasn't severely injured from this this golf cart. But I mean, God, talk about the consequences of your own actions. The way the man in the golf cart handled the golf cart <laughs> and the situation with such a professionalism, as though he had done this before, pinned <laughs> him under the cart and then got out and stood there and looked at him. I mean, that's just some prof and he's calm. That's just some professional quality running someone over with a golf cart. I don't know. I think I'd be too afraid to run somebody over with a golf cart, but he handled it like a pro. And he just he just keeps going and then he stops when he should. The fact that they had to wait, the police arrived and no one lifted the golf cart off this man. They just waited <laughs> for the fire department to show up to lift the golf cart. Um the fact that he's okay is what definitely makes it funny. Um but mess around and you find out, I guess, and don't throw rocks through people's windows. They'll run you over with their golf cart. Right, especially if it's this man. We have a picture of him, like you just described, staring at the guy. Can we pull that up? It's such a, there it is, <laughs> great image. Don't mess with this guy because he doesn't, if you mess around, he's gonna make sure that you find out. Although, can we play the video just one more time? Because I wanna talk, I wanna talk about something that happens at the end. Can we, can we do it one more time? Awesome, okay. <laughs> okay, everybody, watch it again. <laughs> oh. Hey, come on! Yeah. 
I think we need to commend the homeowner on not driving right into the river or the lake because I'm watching this video the first time and I'm like, oh, he's gonna go into the water. <laughs> he he pulls up skirt, stops, does not go down that ditch, does not go into the water. I'm you're right though. This is a man that looks like he's done this before. S- smooth maneuvering. He pulls he's so close to the edge of that sidewalk, right in the water. Does not bat an eye, doesn't seem nervous. He just pulls right up, puts the perpetrator under his vehicle and says, yeah, you're gonna wait there until the officers arrive and take care of this on the scene. Right, he's looking down at him like, that's what I (laughs) thought, sir. 